Hello everyone, welcome back. I made another free preset that'll be in the description below. This is a rectangle mask that you can use right on the edit page. You can track footage and mask it out right here. I'll demonstrate it now. After you download it, go to effects. SDS rectangle mask tracker. Drop it on and by default, the mask is turned on. You turn it on and off right here and you have an invert. And we're gonna get ready to track, so we'll turn it off. And then go over here and select this arrow. And turn the fusion overlay on. And now you see your trackers. If you have your playhead in the middle like I do, and your trackers are not lining up in the window, down here, just move the playhead to frame zero and then they'll work without an issue. Every once in a while, they just don't seem to want to line up if you're in the middle of it. See, this one here is not where it's supposed to be. If I take it to, to the beginning, and then they work with no issues. Every once in a while, it'll do that. Just watch for that. And they go in order, top left is one, top right is two, bottom right is three, bottom left is four. That will keep you in correlation with all the trackers down here. And we'll track it. It's done tracking. Click this button, it'll turn the overlay off. And we'll turn the mask back on. And then right click on tracker one, connect two, tracker path one, position. And it went there. Right click on tracker two, connect two, tracker pad two, position. And again, that one did. Go to tracker three, right click, connect two, tracker pad three, position. And there's the third one. Now right click on the fourth one, connect two, tracker pad four, position. Every one of these has an offset, X and Y, so you can line everything up. When you do that, be careful not to accidentally adjust the trackers. If you do, you have to start over. If you look close, in the mask, I am lining them up right now. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. That looks pretty good. Now to save this, when you go to the delivery page, if you don't set it up the way I'm going to explain right now, it'll come out black and it won't be transparent. So pick your, your normal setting, go to format, go to QuickTime, Kodak, GoPro Cineform, type, change it from 10-bit to 16-bit. And when you do that, an export alpha checkbox will appear. You want to select that and then render it. When you look for your file, it's not going to look like a regular video that you would normally see. It's going to look more like an audio tab than a video. It'll say whatever you named it and MOV at the end. You won't be able to see it. You won't be able to view it until you put it back into DaVinci. And then you'll be able to see the whole thing with a mask out. I do want to show you one thing, how I got this checkerboard in here. Select this button, go to viewer, background. You have four options, checkerboard, black, gray, or red. That shows red, now it's red back there. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.